Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio, and it occurs to me that the Pokemon 25 celebrations are kicking off. And although we've covered a few things here and there, what I haven't yet done is sit down with you lovely ladies and gentlemen, and really take a good old look at everything we know, and the things we don't know but we know. So let's have a little bit of a look. And we are focusing on the Pokemon TCG here, obviously. At the Pokemon 25th anniversary celebrations, what we know and what we know. So starting off, of course, we have previously seen, I did a whole video about it. It was a rather popular video. We are getting the first partner packs. Essentially, we are getting starting in February and then one a month, we are getting these first partner Pokemon Jumbo cards. So in February, we are getting ourselves a binder with a Jumbo Pikachu. Yes, that is a reprint of Jungle Pikachu. How awesome is that? Wait, base set Pikachu. There was a Pikachu in Jungle, but this is base set Pikachu. And then it's going forward one a month. So, in one month, we're going to get the Gen 5 Pokemon, etc. And these are all, they're essentially gigantic jumbo reprints of the first card that we ever saw from these particular Pokemon. So, Tepig is going to be a promo, which is the first Tepig card we ever saw. Black and white promo number two. But these are counting down. Essentially, we're getting one a month, starting with a binder in February. And then we are going to end up in... October with the first partner pack for Kanto. It is important to note they are counting down from most recent to oldest. So they are finishing in Kanto with your Bulbasaur, Squirtle and Charmander. Clearly something is happening in October, but we don't know that for a fact. So we'll get there in a minute. The other thing which has been actually properly announced, and we have not talked about this enough on the channel, and I apologize for that. But on the press release, we had Special Collections, the Pokemon trading card game. The Pokemon trading card game, TCG, is a cornerstone of the brand, and fans can look forward to special 25th anniversary themed collections of the Pokemon TCG later in 2021. In the meantime, fans will soon be able to collect oversized cards featuring Pikachu and beloved first partner Pokemon from the various regions featured in the franchise spanning retrospective. Those are the first partner packs we had a, a little bit of a look at a little while ago, so we don't need to focus any more on that. We've kind of talked about it. So what are these 25th anniversary packs? Well, we don't know is the honest answer. We haven't been told. Or have we? Because, of course, if we head on over to the 20th anniversary, well, we had Generations. Now, Generations was one of those special sets where you could not just go and buy packs or booster boxes of cards. You had to buy special collections. So, things like the Mythical Collections, where you would get a couple of packs and a pin and a promo card. Yep. And you'll notice that these have the 20th anniversary logo on. So make no mistake, Generations was an actual proper job 20th anniversary set. It wasn't just a special set. It was a 20th anniversary special set. And that, that, that's very, very important to point out. Now remember, we do have a special set which has actually gone and been announced. It is Shining Fates. It is actually launching in about three weeks' time. And again, it is one of these special sets where you've got to go and buy packs to get boosters. You can't just go and buy boosters, etc. But this is not a 25th anniversary set. It is actually pretty much a card for... Not entirely... But pretty much a card-for-card -card reprint of the Shiny Star V set, which came around in Japan last year. Which, of course, was a year before we saw the 25th anniversary. So although Shining Fates is really fun and special and lovely, it is not a 25th anniversary set. Generations was a 20th anniversary set. So what do Pokemon mean in their press release? When they talk about these special collections... 
Are we going to be talking about things like the Mythical Collections? Like Generations? Are we going to have a second special mini set in 2021? Are we going to have Shining Fates in addition to another one? We get four sets a year. This will give us six sets. That would be a lot. But it is a 25th anniversary. The answer is, I don't know. Nobody knows. It might just be some one-off products. So, like the Mythical Collections... But rather than tying it to a new set like Generations, it is just a few one-off products. That could be the case. One of the most important, eye-catching, impressive, and oh my god, I can't believe I didn't buy that product we got for the 20th anniversary, was the Team Rocket case, which came with a whole bunch of really cool things. Uh, there is currently one on eBay, which has been listed for £6,500. I have no idea if it's going to sell for £6,500. But shall we say that's one of the ones out of Japan that we, we all should have bought. If you see a similar product like this in Japan this year, don't go and buy it. Because if you're all trying to buy it, it's going to be much more difficult for me to buy it. And I am definitely going to want to buy it. So read into that advice as you will. Of course, the other thing this could mean is an Evolutions 2. Now, Evolutions, remember, was that set that was... Now, it wasn't a reprint of base set, but it did give us a lot of similar kind of things. So, for instance, the Charizard from Evolutions was very much like the Charizard from the base set, but it had just been essentially, well, it had been updated. You had the same attack, but it did double the amount of damage. You had the same ability, though the wording was a little bit better. You had 30 more HP, etc. Now, it's interesting to note that Evolutions over in Japan was actually called Expansion Pack 20th Anniversary. So make no mistake about it, it was a 20th anniversary set. The thing is that Evolutions was a main set. As in, it was one of our four sets a year that are released every three months. So I don't know if that would be what they're referring to in the press release here. I think we are getting an Evolutions 2, and I think it is coming in October. Come on, we are, or November. We are literally counting down with the first partner packs. We are counting down to an evolution style set. That has got to be the case. But I still don't think that's what they're talking about in the press release here with the special collections. Because as much as these are cool and special, you've got to remember that Evolutions was a regular set. And I think we're getting a new Evolutions, but I think it's going to be a regular set. So hold on to your hats, there is something else coming. Now, I told you the other day that we have had very credible rumors of a serial promotion coming, like we saw last time, that are going to give us a series of cards which are stamped with the 20th anniversary. I'm not going to go into huge details with this. I did a video on it the other day. I will link it in the description. But it is very important to note that it seems to be we are getting some General Mill Serial promotion, which seems to be starting in February. I am sure I remember reading on the press release about General Mills, but I'm looking at the press release here and there is no mention of General Mills, so I don't know if I imagined that or not. Or maybe I'm looking at a different press release, I don't know. There are a couple of other brands, however, which are specifically mentioned in the press release. And although they're not mentioned in terms of the Pokemon trading card game, they are blatantly going to be for the Pokemon trading card game. So they have mentioned that there are going to be promotions with Build-A-Bear. Now, Build-A-Bear is obviously cuddly toys, not trading cards. However, when you buy the Build-A-Bear toys over at Build-A-Bear, they always come with a trading card. Now, generally speaking, these are just regular trading cards stamped with the Build-A-Bear logo. It's, it's not exactly um, it's not exactly that special or amazing, if I'm honest with you. But they're still kind of cool and people might be into them. The far more interesting one, as far as I'm concerned, 
is McDonald's. There is absolutely no way this does not refer to a new McDonald's card promotion. We get a new McDonald's TCG set every year. Now, they're generally reprints and they've got Funty, Hollow and all of that. They're really cool. But we generally get toys and each toy comes with a card. There is no way this doesn't refer to a promotion. And it's probably not going to just be cards. It is probably going to be other stuff as well. It's probably going to be toys and cards. But I see absolutely no way whatsoever this isn't a McDonald's promotion which involves cards. Now, there are rumours and pictures floating around of cards that have got the 25th anniversary logo on, which are not part of the serial promotion, which are generally French and have been pulled in packs of vivid voltage. Now, the assumption being made here is that there was a mistake at a factory and that some of these French McDonald's cards have ended up in packs of vivid voltage. We don't know that this is the case. But this seems like the most likely thing that has happened. So I think you can pretty much guarantee at this stage there is going to be a McDonald's promotion. Having said that, there is a McDonald's promotion every year. So we'd probably be getting one of them even if there wasn't a 25th anniversary. There are some other brands that are mentioned. Funko is mentioned. But I think it's fair to assume they're just going to be new Pokemon Pop vinyls. Uh, Mattel is mentioned. But they're a toy maker. It's just going to be new toys. Levi's are mentioned. And I definitely want to get me some Pokemon jeans. But they're probably not going to be coming with trading cards. But I want some Pokemon jeans. So what do we know? Well, officially announced we've got the first partner packs. And the special collections, whatever they might be. Along with Shining Face, which doesn't really count. And then what we really know is coming is a serial promotion a McDonald's promotion, and more than likely, though we don't have anything specific to hang our hat on here like we do for the others, an Evolutions 2. Either way, there is going to be a lot of fun Pokemon TCG stuff, and let's be clear, right? This is not going to be the only Pokemon TCG stuff that is released during the 25th anniversary. This is just what we know at the moment. More will be known, more will be revealed. And you know at this stage that I will be here to cover every single thing that is revealed. That's kind of what I do here, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of what I do. So if you're not subscribed yet, now seems like a really good time to take the plunge. But for now, I want to know what you think about all of this 25th anniversary stuff. I want to know your predictions. I want to know what you think is coming. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.